now for Media Watch, for which I'm joined by James Creedon. Good evening to you, evening, James. Uh, let's begin in Egypt. And of course, you're keeping an eye on all the social media and, and so on there. What, what sort of images are, are emerging? Well, every day there's shocking images on social media since Wednesday uh, coming out of Egypt, many that you can't even show on air. But today, one that has really captured uh, a lot of attention is photos of people jumping off the October 6th bridge in Cairo. Uh, this is a, a major thoroughfare in the city. There was gun, gunfire uh, on the bridge, and it seems that some people, in order to escape the danger of the gunfire, were actually uh, jumping off the bridge. Um, perhaps it's not so high that it might actually be a fatal jump, but you can see here also people trying to, ro you know, with the, he the help of ropes or cables, uh, come down off that bridge. Now, on the same bridge, if you go back to Wednesday, a police vehicle was actually pushed off that bridge, uh, leading to other another series of photos that uh, captured uh, the media's attention. Some shocking images there of that police vehicle being thrown down or for forced over the barrier down onto the road below. Um, I, certainly, I suppose, indicating the level of hostility there between various sides. Now, this, uh, Tom, is a photo of a man, um, a protester about to go out on the streets. He's writing his name and the phone number of a family member on his arm in fear that he might die and not be identifiable, which has been a problem for some. There have been so many deaths that it's hard to, to identify mm. everybody. This next tweet also indicates, I think, that very uh, determined attitude amongst a lot of a lot of those protesters sooner or later i will die said one protester who was, was quoted in more than one uh, report better to die for my rights than in my bed so people are very very militant indeed now this is one final photo tom that has captured the attention of the media it was yesterday uh, to about 250 kilometers from uh, the libyan border in the town of mersa matru that is actually a photo of um, egyptians at the beach would you believe uh, while uh, the, there, is, there is all sorts of uh, kayhem, mayhem rather behind. So I suppose it shows uh, that maybe there's almost an attitude in the country that there has been so much unrest that people are just getting on with their lives despite the realities around them. No one in that picture looks particularly alarmed by the, the plumes of smoke behind them, do they? Right, it's a shocking photo. Mm. All right, so now we've been saying in the news uh, the last... A uh, couple of hours that the uh, the very famous and rather uh, divisive, let's say, uh, French lawyer Jacques Vergès uh, has died. That's right, and it was the front page of Le Monde this afternoon. He passed away uh, last night. Also, the front page actually of the Bolivian paper Los Tiempos, which is an indication of uh, what a well-known figure he was. Uh, certainly, in countries, uh, uh, I suppose, that have had an anti-colonial. Uh, past or a, a past in fighting colonialism. He uh, defended all sorts of anti-establishment figures. He was a notorious defence lawyer. Uh, you could, the Nazi, uh, he was known as the Butcher of Leon. He was the head of the Gestapo, of the Gestapo in Leon and he defended him. He defended uh, Carlos the Jackal who notoriously said of Jacques Vergès, I chose him to defend me because he's the only, he's, he's the only man I know who's more dangerous than I am. So quite uh, the, the figure. I think something that illustrates his his personality quite well as an interview he gave to France 24 in June of 2011, uh, speaking to Gauthier Rabinsky, who pointed out some of the maybe uh, inconsistencies in his career. Vous avez aussi défendu un nazi qui était Klaus Barbie. Oui. Alors en quoi est-ce cohérent comme parcours? J'ai défendu Barbie pourquoi? Parce que je voulais dire aux Français qui menaient la guerre d'Algérie, aux Américains qui faisaient la guerre au, en, au Vietnam, cet homme, c'est votre sosie. C'est votre image. Vous êtes en train de vous condamner vous-même Alors, vous, qui êtes-vous dans cette histoire Parce qu'au fond, c'est ça qu'il faudrait faire. On n'a pas le temps, mais c'est la psychanalyse de Jacques Vergès. Vous euh, êtes l'anticolonialiste qui Moi... défend les néocolonialistes comme Kadhafi, qui est femme, pas... et qui sont des dictateurs. Mais en écoutez... Fait, qui ont... So there you go, Tom. Uh, quite uh, the figure. Um, he passed away, as if he wasn't notorious enough, in the same bedroom that Voltaire died in on K. Voltaire overlooking the Louvre. Um, a friend of his who lives in that apartment uh, took him in in his final uh, months. He also, to add to his mystery as well, disappeared for eight years in the middle of his sort of uh, heyday. Um, nobody seems to know for sure where he was for those eight years. Um, it's thought he might have been in Cambodia with his friend Paul Pot, who he used to hang out with in his student days in Paris. So he's a kind of almost a mythical figure, really, um, for the, all, all the right reasons for some and all the wrong reasons for others. He's certainly very divisive. Mm. Sounds like there's a film in there, I think. I think so. Well, shall um, we finish with one quote, by the way? Yes. I forgot about this quote. Mm. Uh, would I be uh, prepared to defend Hitler? Of course, even George W. Bush.
So I think uh, every most of what he said was provocative in some way, shape or form. A colourful, uh, divisive, provocative, call him what you will, Yes, uh, lawyer there. All right, a, a rather more uh, light-hearted story <laughs> to end on. Uh, a story of, uh, I don't know, mis, uh, misidentification of an, an animal, perhaps. Yes, uh, mm. stakes much lower. Uh, mm. This is uh, not a lion. Shall we get a close-up on this creature uh, who was in a zoo in Henan province? I think it's pretty clear it's not a lion, right? It is, in fact, a Tibetan dog. Uh, but uh, it appears that a, a, lion, that a zoo in Henan province, which has since been shut down, was trying to fraudulently present this beast as something that he is not. The quote here is, the zoo is absolutely trying to cheat us. They are trying to dispute dogs, uh, disguise dogs as lions, said one visitor speaking to the uh, Beijing Daily uh, youth newspaper or something like that. They also apparently had white foxes where leopards were meant to be kept. And But you know, Tom, it's not the first time I did find this photo online of a donkey painted as a zebra. So it, uh, it's not just in China that you have this sort of blatant uh, untruth being, untruths being spun. Mm, indeed, I don't think I'd fall for either the zebra <laughs> or the lion personally, but thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, anyway, uh, James Creed, and that was Media Watch. It's time now for a check of the top business news stories with Marcus Carlson.